Hey, it's Andre. I've seen a lot of desk setups try to adopt a more modern look by removing the classic lamp on the desk look in favour of something more minimalistic and aesthetically pleasing by adding this to their setup. This is a computer monitor lamp. This one in particular is from Quintus who have kindly provided this one for me to test and review. So many thanks, it's greatly appreciated. You're probably asking yourself, why would I need something like this when I can just use the lamp that's already next to my monitor? Well, ask yourself this, when you do turn your lamp on, how often is that lamp just not only shining on your work surface, but also shining onto you? Does it ever cause you a bit of eye strain or not being able to look at the computer screen for long periods of time, or even causing unnecessary glare onto your screen? Well, if that's happened to you, then maybe something like this one to light could be useful for you. Thanks to its positioning on your monitor and the optical design, it will only illuminate the workspace in front of the monitor by providing it with a constant flicker-free, evenly spread light, and not on you or the monitor screen itself. And with its added eye protection blocks blue light and optical radiation, therefore reducing fatigue that you may suffer as a result of those long sessions in front of the screen or using a light source glaring at you. This light is by no means a replacement for your normal room lights and should be used in conjunction with those lights to give you a more pleasant working or playing experience but that doesn't mean it can't be used in the absence of those conditions. I find that sometimes it gives an aura of focus about a setup when only the workspace is illuminated. So let's open the box and have a look at what you get inside. So this is the Quintus LED monitor light made for designers, professionals and average people like you and me. You get the standard multi-language user guide, a two meter nicely braided USB-C to USB-A cable. It's nice to see products like this actually make an effort with nicely presented USB cables instead of the cheaper plastic coated ones. The screen clip which houses the lamp bar here with space for the USB cable to be inserted. The counterbalance which makes sure the weight of the connected lamp bar doesn't fall from the screen by providing either a firmly wedged connection or an evenly balanced pivot. The adjustable section in the middle of the screen clip is where your monitor fits in between. It has the ability to adjust the size with the retractable spring loaded mechanism and the two included thickness adjustment covers for thinner monitors makes this compatible with a magnitude of monitors with a thickness of between 0.7 and 3.5 centimeters. And an allen key as well for any minor adjustments. Onto the lamp bar itself. This 52 centimetre bar is made out of an aluminium alloy that is called cool to touch out of the box. With a section of polycarbonate which houses the brightness adjustment and colour temperature touch sensitive buttons with the light sensor on the left of the midsection and the light sensor switch and the power touch sensitive buttons on the right. At the back you've got the USB-C port and on the bottom the light source powered by 100 flicker free LED bulbs capable of delivering up to 300 lumens of light intensity which isn't going to replace a normal light source but is definitely suitable for illuminating your workspace when connecting to your monitor. They are rated at providing an excellent colour quality of CRI95 which is going to help show those actual true tones of objects on your screen with more accuracy. Useful if you're a creator and exact colour matching is vital. The colour temperature you're going to get from this is between 300 100K and 65K. Both are adjustable by pressing the appropriate button at the top of the light bar. Connecting is simple. Mount the light bar to the screen clip, ensuring the USB-C port is exposed to the back. This is Quintus's widest light bar made for monitor sizes of between 22 and 29 inches. They do also make light bars for smaller monitor sizes and laptop screens. If you've got a slightly thicker monitor, you may want to wedge one of the thickness adjustment covers onto the clip. Open the spring adjustment and fit to the monitor. This method also works for an even thicker monitor, but without the adjustment clip. In both of these cases, because the grip of the clip with the monitor is stable, the counterbalance won't need to be touching the monitor. And if you've got an arc shaped monitor like I have here, you won't need the adjustment cover, but the counterbalance section will just need to be positioned in a way that it's secure. If you want slightly more light coverage on your workspace, you're able to rotate the light bar a little within the screen clip as required, but obviously not to a point where it'll be shining a light on your face. The only restriction to movement is where the USB cable comes out at the back. This light isn't recommended for use on laptops, wall mounted monitors or curved screen monitors. Although on my Samsung monitor, which only has a small curve, I found the screen light doesn't get obstructed by the curved edges of the screen. The USB-C cable plugs into the light bar at the back and can be powered by either plugging into the mains, your computer, the monitor if it has the ports, or into a power bank. Customization is important in a product like this because the favorable conditions that one person prefers to another or from me to you will differ. So these touch sensitive buttons I showed you earlier will help tailor to your needs. 
With the brightness adjustment, just pressing and holding onto the button will alter the brightness between 5 and 100%, its dullest to its brightest intensity. But just tapping onto that same button will give you three stepped intensities, dull, mid and max brightness. The colour temperature button, which is next to that, works exactly the same way. Press and hold to cycle through the temperature from the cool 6500K all the way down to the warm 300K. And tapping the button in this instance will give you four stepped temperature levels. If you set your favoured colour temperature and often find yourself working in front of your monitor for hours on end amongst changing external lighting conditions because you might be in front of a window and the darkness creeps in at the end of the day and sometimes before you know it you're working in a dark room. I've definitely done that a few times. But with a press on the ambient light sensor switch you get auto dimming which is automatically adjusts the intensity of the light bar to the surrounding light detected by that light sensor on top of the light bar. You won't have to worry about putting in your favourite temperature and intensity settings if you have it in manual mode and you turn it off as it will always remember the previous settings once you turn it on again. I, I've got to admit I have really liked using this light on top of my monitor and I felt it has noticeably helped my own eye strain that I was previously suffering. It hasn't gotten rid of it but that's basically because I'm, I am staring at a computer for hours on end, but it's definitely helped. In conjunction with features on modern monitors like iSaver mode, this definitely aids in thinking about your health and long-term well-being as a computer user, and at the same time looking the part. Even in the daytime when you may not be using the light, it adds to that modern look that, I'm, that I've personally been trying to create with my working setup. And when I am using it, which is mainly in that auto dimming mode, I almost forget about it and take that added light for granted. Because apart from the light on top of the monitor, which just looks the part, complementing the black frame on my monitor, I don't notice it. No control panel on a cord, which means I can hide the USB-C cable at the back with some strategic cable management. And it's all controlled by the use of those four touch sensitive buttons at the top. Aren't some of the best products the ones that just work in the background and just get on with the job? That's exactly what this does. Helps with eye strain, illuminates my workspace, delivers an extra clarity to what I can see on my monitor, helps maintain a space saving aesthetic, all from this smart light that just sits on top of your monitor. Rated for a lifespan of up to 40,000 hours, even the most dedicated office worker who could be staring at their monitor for up to seven hours a day is going to get years of use out of this. And with its simple customization and auto dimming, feature can be used by anybody in a personal home or professional setting i'll leave links to this light on the quintus website and on amazon in the description below and if you put discount code andre in the checkout you'll receive 10 percent discount on this light so thanks to quintus for giving this exclusive discount for viewers like you on this video so go check out their website and get one of these lights if you think this will be perfect for your own setup let me know in the comments below what you think of this light bar and whether it's something you think would help you press the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to press the subscribe button as well to get more videos like this in the future and also press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one